Hi guys, I'm Pratik Singh and in this video we're going to learn about chart types and how charting works. So, I know you already know this. Markets open at 9.15 a.m. and close at 3.30. And there's so many trades happening every day, so much of price movement. How do you visually plot price movement over a long period of time? So, let's take an example of Tata Motors. Now, what we'll do is, we'll just plot the closing price of Tata Motors on a daily basis for a period of time. Now, the closing price is obviously the last price at 3.30 that we see. So hypothetically, the market closes here. The next day, the market closes slightly higher. Notice this is a standard graph. This is the x-axis and this represents time. And then you have the y-axis, which represents price. Now, I'll put price over here on the right side. Now, let's suppose this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now, I know the markets aren't open every single day, but let's assume that each day over here is when the markets are open and we are just tracking the closing price of Tata Motors. Now, in this example, every day Tata Motors is closing higher and higher. Sometimes it's sideways and then sometimes it's really high. So now the price scale here is from 100 to 150 in our example. So I'll put 100 here, all the way to 150. Now, what I'll also do is connect all these closing prices to form a line. And this is obviously a line chart. Now, after looking at this chart, can you easily tell whether the price trend was upwards or downwards for the last six days. Obviously, a graphical representation of the closing prices is super easy to understand that yes, the price was up over the last six days. But there's a problem here. If you look at the sixth day or any day for that matter, you're missing some data points. We're only tracking the closing prices in a line chart. Think carefully, what's missing? So let's say the market opened here went lower than that, made a high, and then closed at 150. So as you can see, we have the close, we have the high of the day, we have the low of the day, and we have the open. So to start this, we can use something called an OHLC chart. So the high and low is represented by a vertical line. So I'll just mark the high and low here. And I'll have a vertical line representing the high of the day and the low of the day. Remember, what we're discussing now is just the data for one single day, a single day's OHLC. So we have the high here, the low here. The open is represented by a left horizontal line and the close is represented by a right horizontal line over here. So this is called an OHLC bar chart. Or people only call it a bar chart. So let me show you what a bar chart looks like on Kite. This is the chart of Tata Motors, somewhat similar to what we just drew here. And you can see that every single day's price movement is encapsulated on this bar chart. So look very carefully at this bar over here. It has a left horizontal line and a right horizontal line. And because the right horizontal line is higher, it's actually an up day. And you can also see that the trend is very much visible over a long period. But there's still one issue. On one particular day, whether the day was a bull day, that's a bullish day, or a bearish day, it's a little difficult to see on this chart, right? You need to strain a little and look at that bar chart much more closely. So is there a way to probably light these bar charts up? Yes, there is. It's called a candlestick chart. It's very intuitive, so I don't need to explain much. Basically, when the close is greater than the open, it's a green bar. And when the close is lower than the open, it's a red bar. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna change this format to a candlestick bar. And the same thing that you saw, you can see the same trend, but every single day is clearly visible 
whether it was a bullish day or a bearish day. So let's understand the anatomy of a candlestick bar by showing this to you on the blackboard. So what I've done is I've removed the line in between and let me just rename this. And this bar will now be filled, also called the candle. So your high and low is exactly the same, except the distance between the open and close, that is filled as a candle. And if it's a bullish day, in this case, the close is higher than the open, the candle itself turns green. And if it was a bearish day, which means that the close is lower than the open, which means prices were pushed down during the day and closed lower than where it opened, that bar turns red, which looks something like this. This, as we know, is called the high. It's also called upper wick. It's also sometimes called the upper shadow. So remember that these are just jargons. They all mean the same thing. It just means the high. And then you have the lower wick, also called the lower shadow. So you can also call this lower shadow. And then this area is obviously called the body. Now there are a lot of charting platforms that you could use to actually visualize price using any of this, the line, the OHLC, or even the candlestick. There are other forms of charts as well, but those are lesser used. Candlestick, because of its visual appeal, is probably the most used amongst traders. And you will also realize why as we understand and go deeper in this module around candlestick patterns and trends. But before we understand and go deeper into candlesticks itself, you need to understand the concept of timeframes. And we'll do that in the next video. And the key takeaways from this video are,